Joining us now is Nick Quested, a documentary filmmaker from the UK who was embedded with the Proud Boys in the period between the election and the insurrection. The night before the assault, in a parking garage just a few blocks from the Capitol, actually right below where we are sitting, he filmed a meeting between Enrique Tarrio and the Proud Boys and Stuart Rhodes of the Oath Keepers. Both are now charged with seditious conspiracy. Quested also testified that on the morning of January 6th, leaders of the Proud Boys went to the Capitol instead of Donald Trump's speech. So um, thank you very much for joining us, first off. Um, talk to me about what you did on the morning of the insurrection, where you went, and, and from your understanding, why you weren't going to see the president, the former president, speak. Uh, well, I can speak to what I did. I didn't, I didn't really interact much with the Proud Boys at that point. I'm just trying to film uh, what they're doing. and. We joined the mall at approximately 10.30 in the morning, and they were already walking towards the, you know, easterly direction towards the capital. And at that point, I'm literally straight into um, tactical mode. I'm trying to conceive how this scene is going to play out in an edit. So I'm trying to shoot a long shot and a close up and, and trying to get a variety of coverage that I know will um, help tell the story. I'm trying to frame the capital in it because I can see the capital in the background, and obviously, it's an iconic building. Um, but I can't speak to what their actions were at the time because, or their intentions were because I, I didn't speak to anyone and ask them. I just started shooting. But in looking at the timeline, Nick, does the fact that they were marching to the Capitol at 1030 in the morning, they did not attend the noon rally with the president, does that lead to the inevitable conclusion that it wasn't just as the president and his followers have said, people attending a rally who then went to the Capitol and went off the rails and it got out of control, if it did at all, if they acknowledged that at all, but that there was an organized attempt, an organized attack led by the Proud Boys that you were shooting on that as they marched to the Capitol at 1030 in the morning before everything else happened. Well, the Proud Boys certainly showed no interest in the rally. Uh, which was the event that was permitted and was walking towards the Capitol. Um, and while we were down there, we walked uh, past the reflecting pool. And as you see in the video, we walked up to the north side of the Capitol, past where the riot police were prepping. We walked round to the east side of the Capitol, took some photos, and then walked backwards to lunch. But I hadn't really... Uh, envisioned there was anything more sinister at the time because having been with them before, they walked up and down the mall in this marching formation, you know, a few times. So, if you wanted, to, you know, uh, my job as a documentarian isn't to draw the conclusions, is to present the evidence and allow people to make their own conclusions. But, um, you know, you can draw your own conclusion from what you think they were doing at that point. Of course, one of the things that was said last night, Hallie, was that they were casing the Capitol to see where the defenses were. Yeah. Um, Nick, I, and I hear you when you say that, you know, your, your job is to put the video out there and people can draw your own conclusions. You've been really careful on that front, and I appreciate that. You also had your own personal experience that I imagine you, you processed on January 6th. I think at one point a rioter went after you and tried to pull the camera out of your hand, right? I wonder, based on your time and your experience with the Proud Boys there, do you think it could have been worse on January 6th than it already was? Oh, yeah, it could have been much worse. If the, um, if the police hadn't presented uh, a defense the, and the rioters had walked straight into the Capitol, um, they might have intercepted the uh, Congress and the Senate as they were meeting. Um, and I, I, I think that the crowd was so agitated, I, I couldn't imagine what would have happened if, if they'd have actually um, uh, uh, being in the in the same room as each other at the same time. Were you satisfied with how your material was presented last night, Nick? Yeah, I thought that the the committee made a uh, had an erudite and concise roadmap to the case that they're going to make. Uh, uh, I think that there's. Um, uh, I'm excited to see the uh, them lay out their argument in a in a fact based way.